so today I am currently starting off the video here in a town called Altrincham. Altrincham? I don't know how to pronounce it. Apparently this is like where all the billionaires live. So today I'm gonna go venture out into the charity shops and try to rummage around all these rich people's trash. <laughs> because one person's trash is a budget student's treasure. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna probably hit up like a couple of different towns here. But first I'm gonna start off here in Altrincham and then I'm going to head off to Didsbury and then to Stockport. So I'm really excited. So the first place that I went to was a place called Bernardo's, which was the right place. So you can see them bringing the rich people's trash. <laughs> so this one was a miss. Not really off to a good start. There wasn't really anything interesting that caught my eye in here. I went through all of the clothes, all the men's clothes, but it was a little bit boring in here. But what's kind of annoying is I didn't realize <laughs> how cute some of the clothes are until I looked back on these videos. Like that red jacket was really cute, come on. So I don't know what was wrong with me. But anyways, right next to Bernardo's was this place called Age UK. Now this place was amazing. This was probably my favorite shop on the whole trip because they had a lot of really good brand name clothes. So for the jackets, for instance, they had a super dry jacket, which normally goes for around 90 pounds. And it was selling for 30 pounds, but it was literally brand new. Or this Ralph Lauren, or is it Lauren? I don't know, sweater that originally sells for 129 pounds was 499. And I feel so dumb that I didn't buy it because I didn't think it was gonna fit me. They didn't have a changing room here and it was a medium, but I should have just got it. There were some wacky things though, like these jeans. I don't know if this was DIY'd and then given to charity, but it's like, what are these? What are those? I looked up the brand, by the way, it's Anain Bing, and apparently they sell for like 200 pounds. And it was selling for 4 dollars So I was happy that I managed to find a couple items, which I'll share in the haul later on. The next place I went to was Scope, which was just across the street. And there were actually quite a lot of really good items in here as well. Um, I picked up a few, which you'll see in the haul. Look at this. I found an Ivy Park shirt for four pounds. Oh my God, there's a Canadian grill. What is that? So I wanted to get a coffee at this cute little place and I sat in front of my next victim, which was the British Heart Foundation. <laughs> wow, that sounds so aggressive. I really like the British Heart Foundation and they also, if you're a student, get an extra 10% off. They have like a lot of cute like little accessories. They have collectible books. I really liked it, but I couldn't find anything that I particularly liked. And then the last place I went to in Altrincham was Sue Ryder, which had a really good collection of clothes. Like I spent a good hour in here because there was so much to look at. Like this dress, I wouldn't have gotten it, but it was cute to look at. And this cardigan, I tried it on, but it didn't look cute or else I would have gotten it. Um, but yeah, I spent a really long time in the store. Uh, but I started to notice that a lot of the clothes I was looking at were like Primark or Misguided. Hollister like like brands that are kind of the same price brand new so I didn't really feel like Justifiable to buy it. So I decided to call it a day at Elchinchum, but on my way back to the car I found this really cute market. They had so many clothing stalls. They had food stalls It was like a really good vibe But the vibe stopped when I saw the price tag of their secondhand clothes like this Sara shirt for 15 pounds uh-uh, no thank you. So then I went to Stockport. I stopped by the mall. Um, I ran into this really cute comic store on the way and I saw this, this little gremlin, which is a nightmare that I had reoccurring when I was a little kid. <laughs> so I went to a few different charity shops. There were quite a lot around here, um, but the prices were very different from Alton Chum. So either it was like a bargain, like this 50 piece sale rack, or it was 12 pounds like this top shop top. So I was about to call it a day, but I wanted to check out this furniture shop really quickly, which I know isn't closed, um, but they had a lot of really good stuff in here. And then before I went home, I had a cheeky little look around Primark. So, hold up. One second, I'm organized as let me organize this. I'm missing something. Oh wait, no I'm not. It's in here. Hey guys, so it's... 
Just choked on my coffee. I'm gonna have more coffee now. Hey guys, so I'm gonna quickly go through everything that I got. It's actually been five days since I went thrifting. It's actually the day before I'm posting this video, which is awesome. I'm very good with my time management. <laughs> um, but anyways, I'm gonna go through everything that I bought. It's not a lot of stuff. I really wanted to get more items, but they just, like the things that I were finding that were really good weren't in my size. But seriously, I had such a good day. Like, Alchin Gym, Alchin Gym. Alchinchim has probably been my favorite thrifting trip that I've ever had and I have not been on a lot So I can't really Say that for certain that that's the best place. There were so many designer items There were so many really good quality clothes and they were super affordable too. like everything was around four To eight pounds like I didn't see anything other than jackets that were higher than that another place that I didn't end up going to but I heard was really good and it's called Walmslow That's another really rich expensive area um, I kind of regret not going but yeah, if you're around Manchester check those areas out so Yeah, I'm just gonna go quickly through everything that I got so from the store <laughs> Do I have a lift? So from the store scope, I bought this champion hoodie for four pounds. Look at that Four pounds. So I found this in the men's section, which is a really good tip if you guys are going thrifting to check every single section of that store. Check every single item, even if it's in the men's section. It says it was a large, so I was kind of hoping for like an oversized baggy moment. But when I put it on, it was actually very fitted. Like, I don't know if I gained weight or something, but this was super fitted. You know what's crazy is I remember these used to be so cheap. Like, I used to go to Walmart and these would be like, I don't know, $10 and now they range like crazy prices. I would say that's a pretty good deal if you ask me. And the next thing that I got from Scope was this colored shirt. I was really drawn to the colors. This just reminded me of pajamas and I was like, you know, I could really do with some cute oversized pajamas. This was originally from Next and it's a size 12. I don't really know if I'm gonna wear this out. I think this is just gonna be pajamas or maybe down the line in the summertime I'll wear it like and I'll tie it up or something. Probably not, but it's a possibility. So yeah, I got that. And then from the store age uk i bought another collared shirt i really really like the oversized like an oversized look with like a black top underneath and also this is just really cute and versatile and you can wrap it up um i could even wear it as pajamas if i want to this is from there's no brand but it's a lot better quality than the next one like it's a little bit more stiff and thicker material let me see what kind of material it is I don't know how to like describe clothes because I'm not a fashion YouTuber. So this is 100% cotton and this one is cotton as well. Oh, it was made in Stockholm. So okay, it's from a brand called Arquette. Oh, that's why. Okay, bitch, this is an expensive clothes. This is normally 55 pounds from a brand called Arquette. So that is the reason why there's such a nice quality difference there. Wow, I don't even know that. Huh. See, this is what I'm telling you. That store is amazing. It's really, really nice quality. And I really, really love this. Wow, I like it even more now. Oh, I didn't even tell you how much it was. So this one was $3.99. And then the last thing that I got from that store was this. A pink running jacket. You know how much I got this for? $4.99. Look at that. $4.99. I've been meaning to get a new workout outfit because I really want to go running and yeah, this is really cool that I found this. So I wasn't even expecting to buy a workout thing, but it's super nice. I really loved the color with the little checkers on the side where it says pink. It's a nice pastel purple and blue, but I just really like this because it's something I normally wouldn't get full price, but at a charity shop, yes. Ooh. So unfortunately, that is all that I got on my little thrifting shop. Very non-sustainably, I then went to Primark. The first thing that I bought was some workout pants to go with my new little Primark workout jacket. Literally like six pounds. Just be careful though when you buy from Primark because some of their clothes are see-through. I bought some of these before, like obviously different because I tried these on. And I used to go running on Brighton Beach all the time. And then after like a few months, I realized that they were actually see-through and people could see my underwear. So that was really awkward. So just double check and like do a little flashlight and check your booty. 
because they're cheap for a reason, okay? The last article of clothing that I bought... The last article thing that I got was this... What do you call these? This isn't a flared skirt. It's like a skater skirt kind of thing. Really cute. It's in like that little fake leather material. It makes you look like you have an hourglass figure. So I really, really liked this. However, unfortunately, I think I'm going to be taking this back because this doesn't really suit me color-wise. Like, I don't know anything about my color palette. That's why I always wear black because I don't know what to buy myself. And I just bought this thinking, yeah, it fits really good, I'm going to get it. But when I put it next to me, it just kind of clashes with my skin color because I'm really pale, this is really pale and it's just not really working out so i think i'm gonna take this back um it's really cute and i really recommend for you guys to go check this out if you have a primark near you but unfortunately she's going back <laughs> and then the last thing that i bought which will be no surprise to anyone are these little nails i always have to buy these whenever i go to primark because they're only a pound and they last you like two weeks like after you put them on they fall off so be prepared for that. But then after you, you re-glue it, for some reason, it stays on for like two weeks. Good hang me. Okay, so that was the end of my haul. I know I don't really buy a lot of stuff, but I'm definitely going to be doing this a lot more because it's just a lot better for the environment to go thrifting. Um, I'm not really setting a good example because I went to Primark. It's cheaper, it's better for your bank account. It's just better all around. And it's also fun. It's like a fun day out to go out shopping and like trying to find little hidden gems everywhere. It is really hailing. Can you can you hear that? It sounds like a a waterfall or something. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you next Thursday for another video.